Alex here from howtoelectronics.com and in today's video we will be talking about TEMT 6000 ambient light sensor. So this sensor has a photo transistor and a resistor that is capable of measuring illuminance and light intensity. So we will simply interface this sensor with Arduino Uno and 16 to 2 LCD display. So at first case we will be measuring light intensity in terms of percentage by placing the light source near or far from the sensor and in the second example we will be measuring the illuminance the SI unit of luminance is lux so as the light source get away from the sensor the illuminance changes so without wasting time let's get started So here you can see this is the TMT6000 ambient light sensor. I have purchased this sensor from the Amazon and it is uh, very small in size. So you can see it has three pins that is out, ground and PCC. TMT6000 written on the back side and on the front side there is a photo transistor and a 10 kilo ohm resistance. So, photo transistor even acts as a resistance when light falls on it so that there is a variation of voltage and current and the variation of voltage and current help us to determine the light intensity and capacity so i have soldered three metallic male headers on this sensor now this can be simply inserted into bread board so this is the front side and the back side signal pin is the output pin ground pin is the ground pin and the VCC is supplied with 5 volt. It can go up to the 6 volt. This sensor is simply composed of a photo transistor and a resistor that are connected in series. So the sensor acts just like a simple NPN transistor. The greater the incoming light on the base, the more the current that flow from the collector to emitter. Only light that falls within the visible spectrum of 390 to 700 nanometer will alter the base. Other sorts of light like infrared, ultraviolet, they, they can't have any effect on this sensor. To make talking about measurement as easy as possible, the sensor has been designed into a voltage divider circuit. The TEMT6000 acts as one of the resistors in the divider and heating any light sources in it changes. So there is a voltage on SIG pin. To read the voltage, simply connect the SIG pin to any analog to digital conversion pin of the microcontroller. As mentioned earlier, the TEMT6000 measures illuminance. If you are unfamiliar with illuminance, it is a measure of total quantity of visible light emitted by a source. So normally, it is referred as luminous flux, which is measured in lumens divided by area in square meters. So now the real question is, why does the TEMT6000 measures illuminance? So here is the answer. In most practices, measuring the light intensity without factoring in distance is very difficult and has puzzled many astronomers for a long time. For example, if you have a bright source far away and a dim source very close, they can appear to have same brightness because the brighter source light will have to dissipate over a larger volume. This is why the sensor will read a smaller value if you move the sensor source or light source far away, essentially increasing the amount of space that the same amount of light has to be filled between the source and the sensor. So here is the graphical representation between the current in microampere and illuminance of the immediate vicinity perceived by the sensor. The TEMT only recognized light wave length that is in the range of 392 to 700 nanometer which roughly covers the entire spectrum of light. In other words, this won't pick up infrared, ultraviolet rays or any other light we can't see directly. So here you can see we have simply interfaced TEMT6000 with Arduino and 1622 LCD display. We have connected output pin to analog pin that is A nut of Arduino. VCC is connected to 5 volt ground is connected to ground and LCD pin is connected to 12, 11, 5, 4, 3, 2 of Arduino. We have used 10K potentiometer 
to adjust the contrast the LCD also works at 5 volt so you can simply assemble the circuit as shown in the figure here so I did the same this is my Arduino board this is 16 to LCD display and this is TMT 6000 ambient light sensor connected to analog pin a 10k potentiometer used to control the brightness now let's measure the light intensity so this is the code this is liquid crystal library and we have in defined some of the integers as a naught pin so light value and light is also defined under the setup function we have begin the baud rate and the pin mode is defined as an input pin so the analog value is read from the TMT pin so with the help of this line the light intensity is directly converted into percentage and is displayed so we have implement 500 millisecond of the delay so i'll upload the code so once the code is uploaded you can see there is a variation in intensity of light as my room is not so brighter so when i place my finger on the ambient light sensor the sensitivity or the intensity goes to the lowest value so i am using my mobile phone light to check the light intensity so as i place the phone near to the sensor the light intensity start changing that is still start increasing so you can see there is a change in value as i am bringing the light source more closer and closer so the intensity want to go more than 1000 sorry more than 100 percent so this is the second code it will measure the illuminance same lcd and the formula is little different we have converted the analog value and the major current or the voltage into lumens so the resistance is 10,000 ohms that is 10 kilo ohm and this formula will simply convert the lumens convert the intensity or the percentage value into illuminance so you can simply upload this code so once the code is uploaded it will start showing the illuminance in lux so again i will place my hand so you can see the illuminance value has gone down so by removing the finger the illuminance value increased again so i will place my phone light again so you can see there is increase in illuminance it has gone from 100 to almost 1000 so currently it's showing around 300 200 lux so this is all about the sensor if you have any problem regarding this sensor interfacing you can comment down in the below section and thank you for watching